We're really excited and looking forward to where our future home will be. Welcome to our apartment. This is our front door. So um, we have this hallway when you walk in. So we walk in here and then we go straight to this view here. I am planning on doing like a console table here with like a mirror and a rug as you walk in, but we have um, this long hallway here that goes around the corner. One thing I did like about this apartment was it is all wood flooring throughout and then we have really tall ceilings so it just feels very open and spacious in here even though it is smaller square footage. We're gonna open this first door here. This is our little storage closet slash coat closet. It's nice to have like a designated storage closet. Right now we just have some stuff in here from like traveling and just our random shoes that we've been wearing and the dog stuff. We're gonna go ahead and close that and then once we turn this corner here, we have another long hallway. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a rug here or not because it is quite of a long space, but we'll figure it out. And then we go to this next door here. This is our laundry. So we have the stackable washer and dryer. These are brand new Samsung. So I'm super happy to have brand new washer and dryer in the unit that no one else has used before because in our last place, we had some issues with the washer. So we're glad to have a fresh start with that. So we're gonna just come down this way here. This is the utility closet. We do not have access to this. And then this is our master bedroom. Um, it is a pretty good size, I would say. I love that it has the ceiling fan, so that keeps us cool at night. We've slept in here for the last two nights, and it's been pretty cool, especially with the you know AC going. It's perfect. We don't have to have any additional fans, I don't think. The only qualm with this room is that the window is so small. I feel like I'm in a jail cell almost. Um, in the model home, they had a much larger master bedroom window, so I was a little thrown off by how small this one was. And especially that it's not really in the middle of the room. I feel like it's gonna be hard to style like curtains or shades up there. And then we turn this way and we enter our master bathroom. It has a really large open space. And then I love the cabinetry in here in this apartment, Jack and Jill sink so that we could have our own sides again like we did in our last place. And then we have the light fixtures up there. And then I love the shower. Let me just turn the light on. So this is our shower. It's um, glass doors, which is really nice. And it's like the zero entry. So you don't have to worry about like stepping over a tub to get in, you just kind of walk right in. And then we do have some of our shower stuff in here already, but we need to get like some type of shower caddy or something that goes on the walls to hold all of our shower stuff because I do not like it on the floor, but that's where it is right now. Yeah, I do love this shower. And then excuse the mess in here. This is going to be our closet. So it is a walk-in closet, it has pretty good space and really great shelving already built in. So yeah, excuse the mess. I already have some stuff in here that I had just brought with me that the movers did not take, but yeah, it's a pretty good size. So I'm able to put like a rug in here and we'll see what else we plan on doing with it. But this is the other view. So the toilet is out here. In our last bathroom, the toilet was like tucked into a different room. So this is kind of interesting that it's out here. And then we're gonna leave this room and we're gonna walk out to the main living area. We have Asher and Lazarus here. Uh, they're kind of like freaked out at the moment. They're like, where are we? Um, but yeah, this is our kitchen slash living room open concept. And we're gonna start with the kitchen. I'm just gonna scan this way. One thing that sold us about this apartment was the kitchen because it is so large and they did put a lot of thought into all the appliances and the hardware. So we have this large granite island, which is gonna be great to cook on. And we plan on doing some like uh, counter chairs right here, but we just have their bed under there for right now. All new cabinets, everything is new, um, and they are soft clothes, I believe, which is nice to have. So we have a really nice large pantry, which is larger than our last place, so that'll be nice, and a ton of storage space. Brand new microwave, brand new oven. This is really nice because it's all flat. It would be nice if it was gas, but it's not, but that's okay. And one thing that is really cool about this kitchen is it has a little trash cabinet here so that you don't have to have like a trash can out so we found that out when we moved in which is really nice to have a nice large sink and 
a really cool faucet here and then we do have our kitchen window here which lets a lot of nice bright light in over here we have a dishwasher which is also new so that'll be really nice but one thing i really loved about this kitchen are the built-ins right here so you can kind of style um, home decor and like kitchen items up there to make it really cute and personal that is the overview of our kitchen and you can see the hallway where we walked in over on this side we have our living room um, and it's nice that we have a wilderness view so we have views of the trees which I really wanted because I love nature so that was really nice to have we have a very large couch so we're gonna hope and pray that it fits in this space this is gonna be moved around and everything but we're hoping to put the couch on this side here and then um, on this side of the room we'll mount our TV and have like a console a rug situation and then this area right here let's see if we can turn the lights on we have our small dining room nook i'm going to show you the outdoor patio space that connects through here stay i'm going to close the door behind me so that the dogs don't come out right now this area of course still needs to be washed but we have a very nice patio situation going on here. I'm gonna be styling this up as well, maybe putting a rug down or some artificial grass and then getting some outdoor furniture to enjoy like coffee and tea in the morning and then maybe a small bistro set in this corner. So I'm gonna come back in here and we are gonna walk to the guest bedroom and guest bathroom which is right through this door right here we're gonna go in the bedroom first this is the smaller bedroom we are gonna use this as a guest room slash nick's office because nick is gonna be working from home but this room has the best view because it has the larger windows so having the full thing it just makes it so much brighter and you have a really nice view to look at but this is where it gets even better because we have a bathtub um, so that's something we really wanted to keep because we do love taking baths and this bath is even bigger than our last bath So we're really looking forward to using that but it is a nice sized um, Guest bathroom as well it has a very large mirror only has one sink, but it has a lot of cabinet space on the bottom Really nice shower bath situation and then you know, we do have some stuff in here already um, That Nick is storing but this is a nice guest size walk-in closet which we'll use as some storage and when guests come they can also like hang their clothes in here too but yeah that is pretty much the completed house tour this door can actually be closed so you can kind of feel like you're closed off from the main living area and then you can just walk in and out through the guest bedroom and guest bathroom and then if you walk out here and you're right back to where we started but yeah that is going to be the end of the apartment tour the movers are actually coming today and we're super excited to have everything moved in we ordered food from this mediterranean restaurant called meza we're gonna see what we got here and it is 1 30 and this is pretty much our first meal of the day but we got the chicken bowl has a lot of yummy vegetables in it and this is the other one same thing it was buy one get one free and it looks like there's some sauces in here too but this is our first meal delivery to our apartment so this will be really fun to try and then we're going to try to complete the rest of the kitchen today as well and we do have to do some other errands um, today but we're just going to tackle the kitchen today and get that out of the way so that we can be able to cook and then we'll tackle the rest of the house throughout the week. So it is 5.40 and we just drove only five minutes to get to Target. The <laughs> Target is so close. It's so nice and convenient to have it that close to us. I don't think I've ever lived somewhere where it's 
five minute drive. Um, but we do have to pick up some things, the things that we need immediately to like clean and be able to like sleep and shower comfortably. But we're gonna go into Target and hopefully find all those things in there. The progress on the house so far, we unpacked a couple of the kitchen boxes, but we still have about seven more. We're gonna get this shopping over with. Um, we already started a load of laundry for the first time, so that was exciting. And then we're gonna still work on the kitchen when we get back after Target and see how much we can accomplish tonight. And then we'll have to figure out what we are eating for dinner. Probably do some more Uber Eats to the apartment. We definitely made progress and this is all very exciting and I can't wait to be finished with all of the unpacking. So we just got back from Target and we ended up stopping at Petco to get the dog some dental treats um, just to have like a little snack to chew on that also cleans their teeth. So we picked up the Wholehearted Smart Smiles dental treats for dogs. So why don't we let them try them? Ooh, they, have, they haven't tried these ones before but the ingredients looked good. So and all their treats are currently packed up so. We wanted to give them something. It smells like hot garbage. Well, it's gonna taste good as well. Like smell that. I thought you said it was blueberry. This one is, <laughs> yeah. This one is like peppermint or something. All right, let's see. Shake. Good boy. Wiggle and then shake. Good boy. All right, let's see if they like them. Our Target run didn't go as planned because a lot of the things that I needed like bed sheets and towels, like they didn't have enough towels in stock. As far as the bed sheets go, I just wanna do a little bit more research first and we already have the set that we were using. I'm just washing them right now, so that's probably what you were hearing a little while ago. Um, but we just picked up a couple other essentials that we need. I got the Honest Bubble Bath in Lavender Scent. I really like that one for taking bubble baths. And then we picked up some of these dish sponges. I did want to try the Cherry Cola Olipop. And we have some medium sized trash bags. So, like I said earlier, this apartment is equipped with like two trash cans built into the, the cabinet built ins. And we're not really sure what size gallon it is. They're definitely pretty small but we can't we don't know if they're like four gallon or eight gallon so we just ended up getting the eight gallon bags and we'll see if those fit and then i just picked up some water wipes for the dog's paws or whatever but we are going to finish the kitchen it looks like a huge mess right now we're going to order some more uber eats for dinner we're not really sure what we're going to get yet but this is kind of the progress we have a lot going on that we want to take care of we're going to eat some dinner i'm super excited because it's our first night eating dinner in our apartment. Good morning, it is Friday. We just woke up about an hour ago. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. The plan for today is to do some more unpacking, of course. So I'm having Nick open some boxes in the master bathroom right now. So it's all of our bathroom slash master bedroom closet stuff. Um, so I can go through that and get that sorted out so that we don't have boxes in our bathroom. But I'm having a cold brew with some oat milk this morning. We still have a whole lot to do. Our guest room is filled with boxes, so we're gonna try to get that in order too. But I really wanna get the house like unpacked fully and get everything put away so that we can start decorating and kind of planning out what we need. And then, you know, kind of just getting back to a routine. I can't even explain how happy I've been since being here in the Rally Cary area. There's just so much to explore still, and everywhere we go is so nice. Like, all the neighborhoods are nice here. Just really happy and can't wait to explore more. now 427 I've just been emptying boxes all day and trying to get all the boxes out of the house through here it's an absolute disaster I just have all of my bath items on the counter because I do not know where to put them yet same with the toilet I have a bunch of shoes on there right now I'm just working with my closet 
I'm trying to declutter and get rid of things that I do not wear just so that I can open up some space and figure out what I really want to keep because I do want to keep this closet nice and organized. So I have a Goodwill pal going. I did put together my two Target shoe racks down here. So that's what it's looking like right now. 